Hello, all the students and viewers. I welcome all of you in my new educational video with warm greetings. But before going to start anything else regarding with the topic I have chosen here, let's have a look at this. Hey students, the images or pictures which you have seen or which you are seeing now, these are nothing but the seven wonders of the world. The new seven wonders of the world, which you are seeing in this 3D flip book which I have created for you all. But if I ask you the question that which is the most wonderful organ in our body, then you may get confused. Let me help you out in choosing those organs. I will choose two organs, the heart and the brain. But if I need to select any one out of these two organs and all the systems in our body, I will choose the heart, which beats continuously, which pumps throughout our life, right even before the birth till death. So the topic today which we are interested in is the circulation, the eighth chapter of biology subject of 12th standard, the circulation. But before going to start with this topic, let me share with you all the learning outcomes and objective of this chapter. The first learning outcome of this topic is to identify the key components of heart's structure, including atria, ventricles, and valves, and comprehend their respective functions within the cardiovascular system. The second learning outcome is to explain the heart's vital role as a muscular pump in the circulation of blood throughout the body, understanding how it contracts and relaxes to maintain blood flow and the importance of heart valves in preventing backflow. The third learning outcome of this topic is to trace the intricate path of blood circulation through the heart, starting with deoxygenated blood, entering through the vena cava, progressing through both pulmonary and systemic circulation and returning as oxygenated blood. The fourth learning outcome of this topic is to recognize the fundamental significance of efficient circulation for overall health, including the supply of oxygen, nutrient and waste material, and how the heart and circulatory system support the body's essential functions. The definition of the circulation is the movement of blood through the cardiovascular system transporting oxygen and nutrients to cells and all parts of the body. Basically, circulation in human being is of two types. One is pulmonary circulation and another one is systemic circulation. But in order to understand the physiology of circulation, we must have to learn the morphology and anatomy of the heart. So as to do that, we have to learn to draw the internal structure of heart. So here you can see that I have drawn the e-sketch of internal structure of heart by using just PPT lines with the help of just computer mouse. You can see here I have highlighted the part of heart performing pulmonary circulation with blue color and the part of systemic circulation with red color. And in order to understand these two parts more clearly, here is the separated parts of heart. Blue part represents pulmonary and red color represents systemic circulation, which makes the complete internal structure of heart. Basically, the heart is made up of four chambers, two anterior thin walled receiver chambers, atrium, and lower posterior thick walled propelling chamber, ventricles. And these are the complete labels different color for different parts so now remember here that human circulation is called double circulation because blood visits twice to the heart while going from body to body so just observe as of now the path of blood flow from all parts of the body to heart then lungs in blue dotted lines and path of blood flow from lungs to heart again and then heart to body so blood visits twice hence the name double circulation but to understand the exact physiology of circulation 
and location of four walls in heart let me show you the self recorded virtual reality video so far we have studied the morphology of heart now just watch it out the physiology of circulation by directly entering into the heart so just let's get it started hello today i am going to show you the four chambers of heart along with its four major valves internally of the human heart in between the right auricle and right ventricle there is a tricuspid valve and in between left auricle and left ventricle there is a bicuspid valve this is the tricuspid this is the bicuspid tricuspid valve pumps down the deoxygenated blood from right auricle to this right ventricle then blood is being propelled forward through pulmonary trunk through this pulmonary valve there is one more valve in human heart and that is a aortic valve which sends the oxygenated blood to systemic aorta and from systemic aorta to all parts of the body so this is about the human heart which is four chambers and four valves and finally this is the schematic representation of path of the blood flow across the heart lungs and the body this is the path in pulmonary circulation and another one is the path of systemic circulation just observe this schematic representation and give me answers on this topic in live classroom evaluation in ppt okay so students here you can see my screen recording here i have prepared this powerpoint presentation for you in which there is a quiz game and you will get automatic results out of it for correct answer you get 10 points for an incorrect answer you get minus 5 points if you pass the question no marks will be awarded so just let's get started by clicking here to continue the human heart has dash dash chambers four correct well done you will get automatic result at the last the right auricle possesses dash dash valve monocuspid monocuspid wrong your answer is wrong in humans dash dash circulation is present double. double okay your answer is correct well done pulmonary vein carries dash dash blood the oxygenated no wrong so two correct two wrong pulmonary word is related to you don't know then we can pass the question yeah. left ventricle sends dash dash blood to the body you don't know this then we can pass the question so we will click here to see your results so you have given two correct answer two wrong answer and two pass questions out of six questions so you got 33 percentage and 10 points so i'm exiting this quiz to take your retest oh. now study this mind maps and solve this homework महाराष्ट्र शासनाचे हार्दिक आभार एस सी आर टी महाराष्ट्राचेही आभार सर्व शिक्षक व विद्यार्थ्यांचेही आभार